Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Nice to have you here. Welcome. Really. Hi. Hello, hello. So almost Friday, today's Thursday, so hang in there. Just two more days and we're done. So for the week, right? So um, well, really nice to be here with you guys. Yeah, well, girls and guy <laughs> so there you go okay so first things first antes que nada recordatorio me mandan a decirles cámaras right y recuerden que es eh, algo y eh, un requisito de Insafor tener las cámaras encendidas so I know is eh, you know sometimes more comfortable to have your, your cameras off. Y bueno, pero me mandan a decirles si para evitar cualquier problema y siempre las cámaras, ¿no? Siempre traten de tener su cámara encendida. Y especialmente para la asistencia, right? Don't forget it. So, let's see, let's see. Let's get started then with today's lesson. All right, so we have some more people today. Good. Okay, awesome. All right, so I'm going to take attendance for the first time, and then we start with the first thing we are going to do today. So let's see. Ta -da 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 -da. Give me a second. There it is. All right, so Thursday, the 30th. So here we go. So we start with Alison Gabriela Ramos. Alison Gabriela, not yet, not here yet. Um, not here yet, okay. So let's see. We continue with Alba Suleima Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Alba. Nice. We continue with Ana Beatriz Pineda. Hi, teacher. Hello. Thank you very much, Ana Beatriz. Good. We continue with Claudia Veronica Juarez. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Claudia. Nice. So we continue with Gabriela Idania Diaz. Well, she's not present. All right. Let's see. Next person, Glenda Maricela Cuellar. Hello, hello. Hey, nice. Thank you very much, hey, Glenda. So we continue with, let me see. Uh, ta -da -ta -da. Iris Beatriz Cornejo. Present, present teacher. Thank you, Iris. Very good. Next person, we have a Carla Raquel Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you very much, Carlita. Ya le pasamos el agua. Thank you. So let's see. <laughs> Carla Yesenia Lanza. Present. Thank you very much, Carlita Lanza. Good. We continue with Lucy Natalie Juarez. Present. Thank you very much, Lucy. Nice. Next person, Marilyn Del Carmen Solis. Marilyn, not here yet. All right. So we continue with Marta Luz Orellana. Martita, well, I guess she's going to have problems with audio today. She was explaining me something there, so that's okay. So let me see. Mm, but she's not here, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, she's there. Okay, so we continue with Mauricio Emilio Alvarenga. Not here. So next we have Mayra Lisbeth Aviles. 
Rest yeah. healthy. Thank you very much, Mayra. Nice. Uh, next, we have Reinaldo Chavez Guerra. Yes, All right. Thank you very much, Reinaldo. Good. Next person, we have Rosa Vilma Landa Verde. Present teacher. Thank you very much, e Rosa Vilma. Nice. So then we have Sonia Evelyn Iraeta. Evelyn, not here yet. It's not. Okay. So we continue with, let's see, Teresa Guadalupe Bonilla. Present. Thank you very much, Teresa. Uh, next, Jessica Melissa Oya. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Jesse. Nice. Next person, Julissa Raquel Cruz. Present, teacher. Thanks a lot, Julie. Nice. Then we have, let's see, Maria Magdalena Ronquillo. Present. Thank you very much, Mary. And last but not least, Vilma Consuelo Guzman. Present teacher. All right, thank you very much, Consuelo. All right, so that's it, that's pretty much it. So let's get started with today's lesson. So let's see. All right, so these past days, well, we have been having some practices about a daily routines. We have been still talking about the simple present. And today we're going to talk a little bit uh, deeper about WH questions or information questions. As I probably told you at the beginning, the use or the formation of questions is one of the things that sometimes gives us trouble in English, but that it will, is one of the things that is a, of utmost importance when speaking, right? And also when writing. So if you learn, as I said before, how to ask questions in simple present, you can ask questions in any other tense. So that's why this is very important. So let's see, let's start with WH questions then. And before we start with the first activity, we're going to watch a little video just to warm up on some information on these WH questions in the simple present. So let me see, I'm gonna share my screen so that you can see it. So here we go. So, Pay attention to the information that they're going to share here with you since, well, during the class, the objective is that you actually can create your own WH questions in the end. So let's see. So here we go. Listen and watch. WH questions and present simple. WH questions. Why, how, where, when, whose, how many, who. Where do you live? I live in England. Where does she live? She lives in America. What time do you wake up? I wake up at seven o'clock. What time does she wake up? She wakes up at seven o'clock. What time do you go to school? I go to school at half past seven. What time does he go to school? He goes to school at half past seven. What time do you have breakfast? I have breakfast at quarter past seven. 
What time does she have breakfast? She has breakfast at 20 past 7. What time do you have lunch? I have lunch at 12 o'clock. What time does she have lunch? She has lunch at 12 o'clock. What time do you have dinner? I have dinner at half past eight. What time does he have dinner? He has dinner at half past eight. When do you do your homework? I do my homework in the afternoon. When does he do his homework? He does his homework in the afternoon. How do you go to school? I go to school on foot. How does she go to school? She goes to school by car. Which subject do you like? I like science. Which subject does he like? He likes English. How many times do you brush your teeth? I brush my teeth three times a day. How many times does she brush her teeth? She brushes her teeth two times a day. How often do you play tennis? I play tennis once a week. How often does he play tennis? He plays tennis twice a week. When do you go to the cinema? I go to the cinema every week. How many times does she go to the cinema? She goes to the cinema twice a week. And that's it. So there you go. Um, pretty much that's what you need to know about WH questions in the simple present. As you can see, we can use WH questions in the same two ways we use yes no questions with the verb to be and with action verbs. Hmm. So let's see. Wait this quick, we don't need you right now. All right. So what are we going to do now? Here we go. Let's see how much you remember about, let me see, these WH questions. So let's see, let's see. Here it is. But before we go with that, any questions about this? Any questions about questions? Or well, not yet? Not yet? Too soon for questions? Okay, too soon for doubts. So let me see then. So let's do something. I'm going to share my screen so that we can see this all right so let's see how much you remember about these wh questions so here we have our traditional cards right with this time some incomplete questions what are you going to do you are going to think 
or you're going to decide on the respective WH word that goes according to the question that you're going to see on each of the cards. So let me see. We're going to work in two groups here. So we have, in the first team, we have Alison, Ana Beatriz, eh, Gabby, eh, let me see, Lucy, Mary, Martita, Mauricio, Mayra, Reinaldo, Teresa, and Vilma Consuelo. And let's see, no, I'm sorry, Vilma Consuelo, you are in the in, in group number two. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so group number two, we have Vilma Consuelo, Alba, eh, Reyes, Claudia, Iris, Carlita Lanza, Carlita Raquel, Mayra, eh, Vilma de Romero, Jesse and Julie. Okay, so you are team number two. So let's see. Let's start with group number one. So Alison, you choose a number. Alison, are you there? Can you hear us? Maybe she's not there. So then I'll go with Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz, you choose a number. Five. Number five. So let's see number five. Ta -da -da. What do you think, Ana Beatriz? What do you think is the question that we need? Ice creams do you want? Mm. I <laughs> <laughs> Remember the WH words that we were checking on the video. So what do you think? Uh -huh. Necesitamos la WH question, perdón, la WH word. Why? Why? Why ice creams do you want? Oh, yeah. mm. No. <laughs> no lo sé, tú dime. <laughs> what do you think? Why? Por qué? Remember, why? The Por qué? Pregunta. The question. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We need a WH word, but I don't think it's why. Mm. Dice, helados quieres. Ice creams do you want? No sé. <laughs> no? Give up? Someone, alguien del equipo, del group number one? What Hi, ice creams do you want? Again, Lucy? What ice creams do you want? What ice creams do you want? Hmm, let's see. Would that be the correct answer? Kinda, right? So what ice creams do you want? And which ice creams do you want? I would consider them possible. So they are synonyms. Y cuando preguntamos cuál, right? Podemos ocupar what or which. Solo que usualmente cuando damos como opciones, vea, este, de cuál, cuál quieres, no este o este, ahí sí ocupamos más que todo which, pero podría aceptarse what también en este caso. All right, so there you go. So very good. So Marilyn, tenía la manita levantada, perdón, no la vi. Hi, teacher. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, no hay problema. Solo okay. para informar uh -huh. que no voy a poder conectar la cámara. La voy a poner ah, cool. apagada. Okay, uh -huh. nice. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. That's fine. All right. Gracias. Nice, nice. All right, then. So, group number one. So, you got the points here. So, let's see. Group number two. Let's start with Alva. Uh, three. Number three. Let's see. Number three. 
Mm, what do you think? She is she late? What is the WH word? Solo necesitamos la WH word, remember. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so no, no idea. Let's see. Alguien del group two would like to help Alba? Why? Uh huh. It is. Why? Why? Why is she late? Hmm. Yes. Let's see. Yes, very good. So why is she late? Right? Why? We use why. Uh, well, to know about reasons. So if I ask you why, usually the answer should go with because, right? And the answer. Why is like in Spanish, por qué? Por qué eh, llega ella tarde, right? Por qué llega tarde? Why is she late? So tengo que dar, bueno, si yo quiero responder esta pregunta, tendría que ocupar la palabra because. ¿Por qué? Right. Doy una razón. O ahí lo explico. Because um, I finished work late. Right. Or be because I fell asleep. I don't know. Right. So anything could be. But in this case, we answered this question with because. So very good. So we continue. Group number one. So let me see. Um, Mary. Hello. Uh -huh. Two. Two. Let's see. Number two. No. So, <laughs> regalo 10 puntos al otro equipo. Oh my God. So, you give 10 points to the other two. So, Jesus Christ. Let's see. Team number two. Um, we continue with. Mm -hmm. Carlita Lanza. Seven. Number seven. Let's see. Lucky seven. Huh. What about this? Do cows eat? Do cows eat? Do cows eat? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Carlita? What? Cows. When? When? When do cows eat? Cuando comen las vacas? Mm -hmm. hmm. Are you sure? Sí. Yes. Let's no, see. No estoy segura, pero... <laughs> pero tal vez. Let's see. Cuando comen las vacas, dice Carlita. No. What? What do cows eat? ¿Qué comen las vacas? Right? Now, gramaticalmente, y tal vez bajo el contexto correcto, podría ser que sí. Pudiéramos decir, when? When do cows eat? Aunque tendríamos que ocupar da, when do the cows eat? Si estoy tal vez en una granja y le, y le pregunto al dueño o al que las cuida, ¿eh? ¿a qué horas comen las vacas? Este, por dato, ¿verdad? preguntas curiosas. Eh, podría ser que le diga a qué horas comen las vacas, pero esas vacas, no las vacas en general. Acá no tenemos da. ¿verdad? Entonces no podemos generalizar la pregunta. Pero si pudiéramos generalizar el que comen, right? What do cows eat? They eat grass, right? Well, among other things. So no points, no points. Right. So let's see. Group number one, we go back to you. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. 
Um, Emilio. Um, Juan. Number Juan, let's see. Number, <laughs> number one says Emilio. Ah, what do you think? Wants an apple. Quiere una manzana. Uh, which? Which? Which, one, uh -huh. which apple? Which wants an apple? ¿Cuál quiere una manzana? Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you think? I think it should be something else. Tal vez otra, otra de las WH words que, sal, que revisamos. Which, 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 um, uh, which was apple? Who wants an apple? Mm, are you sure? Seguro. Yeah. All right. So let's see, Emilia says, which wants an apple? The answer. Who, who wants an apple? Who, quien, right? Quien quiere una manzana? Who wants an apple? So in this case, yeah. So we need it. Who, right? Not which. So no points. Let's see. Group number two. Let's see Carlita, Raquel. Number four. Number four, let's see, number four. Ah, easy. Do you live? Where? 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 Where do you live? Uh -huh. Let's see, would that be where? Yes, very good. Where do you live, right? Where do you live? So excellent. Talking about a place, donde, right? Where do you live? Donde vives? Great. Excellent, Carlita. So we continue. Group number one, Mayra. Eight, eight, eight. Eight, eight, eight. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. What do you think, Mayra? Are you tired? Are you tired? Um, we. Ah, uh, we. Yeah, we are tired. Sí, eso sí. Estamos cansados. <laughs> we are tired. Pero ¿cuál sería la, la no, no, no. WH word? What, which, who, when, where, how. When. Huh? When. When? When are you tired? When are you tired? Es que dice, estás cansado. Ajá. <laughs> ¿Qué más le podríamos agregar? ¿Cuándo Voy está? Ah. ¿Por qué? Ah, entonces sería. Why? Why? Oh, no, why? 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 Let's see. Why? <laughs> Ajá. Let's check if it's why. Yes. Why are you tired? Right. So it's like, hey, why are you so tired? Why are you tired? Porque estás cansado. Porque estás cansado, right? So there you go, exactly. So very good, nice. Let's see, points for team one. Group number two, ah no, wait. Espérenme. Ay, es que tengo a Mayra en los dos grupos. Ah, por eso la veía acá. Okay, I'm sorry. So no, Mayra is in group one, okay. So let's see, we continue with Vilma Consuelo. Six. Number six, this Vilma Consuelo. Let's see. Easy. 
What? What time is it? Segura. Is it? Por un yes. millón de dólares, Vilma Consuelo. What yes. time is it? <laughs> yes. So, yes, let's see. Yes, very good. What time is it, right? ¿Qué hora son? Right, what time is it? So, there you go. Nice. Excellent. So, let's see. Group number one, we continue with Mr. Reinaldo. Number... Ten. Number 10. Let's see, number 10. Aha. Should we read books? Deberíamos leer libros, right? Should we read books? Mm -hmm. Sure. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Where? Huh? Where? Oh, see? Again? Where? 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 Where should we read books? Where uh -huh. should we read books? Donde deberíamos de leer libros. No, 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 ¿Qué más podría ser si no es weird? Yes. Mauricio le, le va a ayudar, dice. Ajá, ahí hey. mismo. Ajá. Day. Sería day. Day. The shower. Way. Way. The shower. Way. Red book. Uy, uy, uy. Way. Ok, way, way, way. They when? no uh uh when why should why 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 should we read books why yes. should we read books why? ¿Por qué? Uh -huh. ¿Por qué deberíamos leer? let's see would that be why mm -hmm. yes why should we read books mm -hmm. right ¿Por qué deberíamos de leer libros? why should we read books ¿Quién me la contesta? Mm -hmm. Nadie se anima a responder. Why should we read ¿Por qué deberíamos leer libros? Ajá. ¿Por qué razones? De tantas que hay. Abre la mente. Pero en inglés, ¿verdad? Obvio, claro. Ah, for, learn, for learn something more. Ah, to learn more. Very good. To learn more. Because we need, uh, we could learn more. Because we could open our mind, as Mary estaba diciendo, good, because we can open all our minds, etc., etc., right? So many reasons, good. To exercise the brain. To exercise the brain, very good. There you go, nice. All right, so there you go, points for you. So we go with team number two, Vilma de Romero. Choose a number. Um, nine. Number nine. Let's see. Is it? Is your birthday? What? What? Mm, what? <laughs> what is your birthday? Cuando es tu cumpleaños. Va es. When, 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 when is mm -hmm. your birthday? Let's see, será when? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, when is your birthday? So, when. Vilma, Vilma, when is your birthday? Um, 20, um, 26, uh -huh. okay. October. Oh my, very good. October the 26th. Very good. Nice. Uh -huh. oh, wow. So it's going to be soon. Ya casi. Ya casi. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much, Vilma. Nice. Okay. All right. So let's see. 
team number one. We go back to Teresa. Six, same. Sixteen, the last one. Let's see. Teresa says sixteen. <gasps> All right, you won fifteen points just like that. All right, <laughs> nice, lucky. Se llevó quince puntos al estilo de Will Salgado. Nice, good. All right. So let's see. Group number two again. Abuela quedaron French touch. No sé. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Next person, Jesse. <laughs> you choose a number, Jesse. Uh -huh. <laughs> 15. 15. Let's see. 15. Aha. Uh -huh. What do you think, Jesse? Uh -huh. Cake, do you want? ¿Qué será? ¿Qué será? ¿Cuál cake tú deseas? ¿Cómo? ¿Cuál cake tú deseas? Podría ser. Which cake do you want? Which cake do you want? Let's see if that is the word that we need. Yes, very good. Which cake do you want? So excellent. Which is your favorite cake, Jesse? Which is your favorite cake? Chocolate. Chocolate cake. Oh, nice. Mine too. Chocolate cake. Excellent. With almonds. With almonds, oh my God, yummy, yummy. <laughs> Delicious, <laughs> all right. Very good, so excellent, Jesse. Points for your team, good. So let's see, then we go back to team number one. So we return to, que me falta? Um, nom, 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 nom. Lucy. Hello. Hello, dear. I choose number 12. Number 12. Let's see. Number 12. No, my God. So you won 50 points just like that. I went to practice. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, let's see. So, le vuelvo a preguntar en la otra. So, let's see. Nice. Group number two. We go back to you and we have here, Julie. Hi. Hey, hello there. 11. 11, let's see, 11 lives in that house. Lives in that house. Hmm. Vive en esa casa. Wait, 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 wait. Tenemos la, la novela prendida ahí, ok. No, yo no, yo no estoy viendo no, nada. No, I know, no, yo sé que no era usted, aquí veo quién es. So let's see. Sería, ¿por qué vives en esa casa? Why. Mm -hmm. Why live? No, no exactly. Mm -mm. Oh. Huh? Oh. Who, who lives in that house? Será who lives in that house? Hmm, let's see. And yes, who lives in that house, right? Quien, quien vive en esa casa, right? Oh, there he lives, my neighbor, eh, Jose, right? Or Tomas, etc., etc. Very good. Nice. Okay, let's see. So I go back with team number one. So Lucy, I go back to you. Hey, thank you. All right, you. let's see. All right. I choose number 14. Number 14, let's see. 
gana 15 puntos. No, mentira, let's see. <risa> oh my God, no, 20 points. Y te Why? Oso, porque hoy lo dio. <risa> well, Why? it's destiny, it seems. <risa> it's destiny. Oh my gosh, ok. So, don't worry, you have the chance. So, I go back then to group number two. And I have there, let me see, eh, Alba. Alba, ready? Alba? Yes. Oh, yeah, there you are. See? So here we go. What do you think we need here? This is a difficult one. Well, so so. Seria. Um, uh huh. Cat is in the garden. What? Uh -huh. what? what cat is in the garden? Hmm. What cat is in the garden? Hmm. ¿Qué gato está en el jardín? ¿O cuál gato? Could be. Could be. Fuera. Bueno. Which? Ajá. Which? Podría ser. What? Which? So. Accepted. En general. Eh, Quien quiera responder. ¿Qué otra opción podríamos tener acá? Let's see if someone gets it. Why? Why? No. Why no? Sí. What y with? Sí. What? What? Ya tenemos what. Ajá. Aparte de, aparte de what y which, ¿qué otro podría ser? Hay una que no hemos mencionado para nada hoy. Oh. Huh? Oh. How? Oh. How? How? No. Oh. Maybe who's? 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 Bingo. There you go. Huh? Who's? Who's cat is in the garden? Y aquí viene la pregunta. ¿Y qué es who's? Right? Who's? is used to talk about a possessive or to talk about possessions. So this is like when we say, de quien es el gato que está en el jardín? De quien es, right? Whose cat is in the garden? So cayó el gato ahí en el patio, no puede salir. Whose cat is in the garden, right? So, podría decir what cat? Si tal vez en el caso que yo tengo varios gatos, pregunto, hey, eh, ¿cuál es el gato? o ¿Qué gato es el que anda ahí en el, en el, en el patio, ¿verdad? en el jardín? Podría ser. Pero tal vez algo mmm, que hay más posibilidades de que lo pudiera preguntar es, whose cat is in the garden? So, ya vamos a hablar un poquito de whose y de, de las WH words in general. So, in this one, the best choice would be whose. So let's see. Win team number two. So there you go. Nice. Okay. Now, speaking about WH words, WH questions, let me show you something here. So I'm going to share my screen so that you can see this slide that I have for you, in which we're going to be reviewing something about these WH questions and how to use them or how to use each of these uh, words here. So let's see. Here we go. Oh, wait. Permitame, permitame. You see, I think it's this one. 
No, so it was the previous one. Why? Because it's not open the right thing here. Okay, so this will be there. So let me share them here, my screen. So here we go. All right, so anyway, simple present WH questions. So these WH questions that we have been talking about, they can also be called content questions or information questions. If you remember, uh, we already talked a little bit about yes, no questions. Ya habíamos hablado de estas yes, no questions and we had already said that with yes, no questions, we can only answer yes or no. Like in the question that I have here, for example, does he play basketball? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. And I don't need to provide any more information besides that. So it's pretty much just a yes or a no. But then we have WH questions. They are called actually information questions because we need to provide some information. We cannot answer just with a yes or a no. So for example here, where does he play basketball? Where does he play? He plays at the school court. So, I'm asking or I'm requesting for specific information here. A place. Estoy preguntando dónde. So, voy a responder con un lugar. He plays basketball at the school court. Todas las WH questions, yo las respondo basándome en la WH word que tengo al inicio de la pregunta. Si yo no me memorizo qué significa cada WH word, no voy a tener que decir, right? So, I won't understand the question. So, let's see then. Let me see. So, here we have some of the most common, probably, WH words that we can find. And here we have also the structure that we should uh, use to talk or to ask a WH question. So we have what, where, when, which, why, and how. These are, let's say, the most common WH words that we are going to find. And here we are missing who, actually. So I'm going to type them here. Voy a poner mi propia versión de esto acá with some more. So we have what, where, when, which, why, agregaré who, whose, y por último how. So, le agregamos esas dos a la lista que están ahí. Eh, who y whose. Y podríamos agregar todavía who, pero no nos vamos a confundir con eso ahorita. So, Pretty much, if we want to understand this, what well, we would say, what, que, right, donde, um, cuando, right, here, cual, Por qué? Here we have quién. This might be the the quién. And here we have cómo. This is key. So. I don't like to translate here. No es que me guste traducir, pero 
creo que es, es la única manera, bueno, o, o es algo que nos puede facilitar el entender qué hacemos, cómo funciona cada WH word. So, we have to keep a clear idea on the meaning, right? So, the structure on how to use the WH question is also very important to understand. And it is actually not that difficult. Here we have some examples. Where do you work? When does he go to the mall? What do you do? So I can ask something like, where does who Alfredo work? Where does Alfredo work? If I ask this question, I need to keep in mind something. Acá, como ya le habíamos dicho con las yes no questions, tengo un action verb. So here we go again. I have an action verb. No es el verb to be. Si tengo un action verb, ¿qué necesito? Auxiliar, right? Does. ¿Por qué does, teacher? Porque estoy hablando de Alfredo. Y Alfredo es un he. So, si tengo un he, me acuerdo que el he, she, it, con ello voy a ocupar does, right? Where does he or Alfredo work? ¿De qué también me tengo que acordar? No le voy a agregar la S al verbo. No le voy a poner works. Pero es la tercera persona. Sí. Pero estoy utilizando el auxiliar does. If I'm using does, no way, Jose. We are not going to use, a, or we are not going to change anything in the verb. In these cases, right? So let's see. Y será que puedo hacer esas preguntas, teacher, pero con el verb to be? Yes, we can. So I can say, for example, e, um, why is she so happy today? Why is she so happy today? Porque está tan contenta hoy, right? ¿Por qué está tan feliz ahora? Why? So, here. ¿Será que necesito el auxiliar? Mm -mm. No. ¿Por qué no? Because I'm using here the verb to be, right? If I'm using the verb to be, ya dijimos, no se pueden ver, pero ni pintado el verb to be con el auxiliar do o does. Never ever. Nunca van a ir juntos. Right? So there you go. Ajá. Y para responder entonces acá, ¿cómo hago? Easy. Como ya dijimos, la WH question me pide informa información precisa, puntual. Where does Alfredo work? Alfredo works in Pepsi, right? For example, Alfredo works in Pepsi. So, we understand here that this is the company, right, where he works. So that's the place, ese es el lugar. And what about the second one? Why is she so happy today? Because she, um, what? She got promoted. Because she got promoted. Le dieron un ascenso. Right? La promovieron a uh, un mejor puesto. Right? So that's why she's happy. So there you go. Now, remember that. In the answer for the question, I need to use, well, if I'm using third person singular, I need to add the S to the verb. Like in this case, Alfredo works, right? Works. 
but in, wait, in this case, it doesn't apply because I'm using the verb to be, but I'm providing a different reason. Acá, de hecho, la, la, la contesté en, en pasado, but parte de, de, de dar la razón por la que ella está contenta, right? So there you go. Another type of question or another example. Um, it could be, for example, who know? How do you go to work every day? How do you go to work every day? In this question, I don't need to change anything again, but I won't use does because I don't have the third person singular. No tengo ni he, ni she, ni it. Así que no ocupo does, sino que ocupo do. How do you go to work? Mm -hmm. So, easy. The answer, I go to work by car. Every day. Yo voy a trabajar en carro todos los días. ¿Cómo vas al trabajo o cómo llegas al trabajo todos los días? Yo voy al trabajo en carro todos los días. There you go. Acá en la respuesta tampoco le agregué la S porque no estoy utilizando ni he, ni she, ni he. Solo I. In this case. So nothing changes. Preguntas hasta ahorita. No. Pregunta de las preguntas. No. Ok. Now, ¿cómo utilizo? I have a Uy, alguien nos habla del más allá. Hola. Hello. Hello. ¿Quién era? Alison. Can you hear us? Alison, you there? La perdimos. Ok. So, bueno, tal vez después eh, nos puede hacer la pregunta. Now, ¿cómo utilizo who's? Right. Y... Um, Usually, we would use, or we would say something like, who's this? I can ask this question, like, hey, who's this? Who's this? De quien es esto? Right? Who's this? Oh, in the answer, we say, that's Marta's. Ah, eso de Marta, right? Eso es de Marta. That's Marta's. That's Marta's, right? Uy, pero no veo dónde está el D, teacher. ¿Dónde puso ahí el D? Acá, right? The possessive with the S. That's Marta's. Y si lo quiero decir completo, that's Marta's pen. Right? Ese es el lapicero de Marta. Right? That's Marta's pen. Who's this? That's Marta's pen. Yep. I can say, si quiero... No quiero decir what, uh, who's this. Quiero decir who's this pen. También podría hacerlo. ¿De quién es este lapicero? Right, lo vamos a poner aquí como una alternativa. ¿De quién es este lapicero? That's Martha's pen. I saw she was using it. So, I can ask another example. Whose car is it outside? Whose car is it outside? ¿De quién el carro que está afuera? Right. Whose car is it outside? Oh, that's Mario's car. That's Mario's car. He left it there because there's no parking outside. There's no parking in the neighborhood. So they had to leave it there. So that's Mari's car. So there you go. If we want to translate that to Spanish, remember that is de quien, de quien el carro que está afuera. 
¿De quién es este lapicero? Usualmente, usualmente, se hace más fácil utilizar who's con this or that, right? Hey, who's that piece of cake? Can I eat it? Who's that piece of cake? ¿De quién es ese pedazo de pastel? ¿Me lo puedo comer? Right? Who's that piece of cake? So there you go. I'm hungry. Okay. So I guess that was the only one that was probably maybe new for some of you. Then the rest, I guess they are very common. So let me see, let me erase this. Let's see. Now, there are, a, um, let's see, I wouldn't call them special questions. I would say a questions that they go already or they, yeah, they go already with some other words. How is a WH word que bien versátil? How la puedo mezclar, puedo hacer combinaciones con varias palabras. Usualmente casi no pregunto con how, solo con how y, y ya no. Y um, a menos que pregunte, por ejemplo, ¿qué tal está ella o cómo está ella? How is she? So how is she? No, oh, she's fine. Now, usualmente la combino más con otras palabras, como en este caso, how often, how often do you play sports? How often does he go to school? Or how often do they work? Y aquí es donde entran los frequency adverbs. Si yo hago una pregunta con how often, ¿qué tan a menudo? ¿Qué tan a menudo haces algo? How often do you visit your dentist? How often do you play the piano? How often do you exercise? How often do you uh, write emails? Etcétera, etcétera. Y aquí yo puedo decir, puedo ocupar eh, frequency adverbs, como lo veíamos ayer, o eh, frequency expressions, like every day, every week, once a week, twice a month, Four times a year, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. Let me see if si it's here. No. Otras palabras con las que puedo combinar how. How much is it? Hey, how much is it? So, voy a una librería, veo un lap otra vez el lapicero, este lapicero que me gusta, y digo, hey, hey, I'm sorry, how much is it? ¿Cuánto cuesta? Right? How much is it? ¿Cuánto cuesta? El how much is it funciona para todo. Right? Es un comodín. Yo hago la pregunta y sostengo algo en la mano. Y pregunto, aunque no sepa cómo se dice taza en inglés, agarro la taza y le pregunto al de la tienda. How much is it? Me va a responder el precio de la taza. Si le quiero cambiar el it, podría decir how much is this mug? How much is this mark? ¿Cuánto cuesta esta taza? Right. How much is this mark? So there you go. It could be. Right. And what else? How often? How much? How long? Have you waited? Cuando vamos al seguro. How long have you waited? ¿Usted cuánto ha esperado? Le preguntamos al, al vecino. Bueno, ya no, porque... Tratamos de no hablarle a nadie en el seguro. Um, but anyway, ¿qué tanto, no? ¿Cuánto? En términos de tiempo. How long have you waited? How long también es como de qué tan largo o puede ser algo, right? How long is a ruler or something? O hablando de las dimensiones de un terreno, podría ser. And how many también. How many. How many chairs do we have? ¿Cuántas sillas tenemos? How many chairs do we have? ¿Cuántas? Pero de contable. How much soda do you want? How much? También puedo ocupar. How much? Solo how much. No how much is it. Solo how much. De la misma manera que how many. 
cuánto, right? O cuántas. Cuántas sillas, how many. How much soda. How many, con cosas que puedo contar. Las sillas las puedo contar, es un nombre contable. One chair, two chairs, three chairs, four chairs. La soda no. La soda como líquido no lo puedo contar. En español yo sé que decimos, ah, trae, tráete unas cinco sodas. Lata, de litro, no sé, no so, etc. En inglés no. Si yo estoy hablando de la soda en general, de líquido, no la puedo contar, entonces uso how much. How much soda do you want? Es como si dijera agua. How much water do you need? Etcétera, etcétera. Con cosas no contables, how much? And that's it. How many? How much? So just some examples on words that you can combine with how. Let me see. ¿Qué más? Wait, wait. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Why, como les decía, we answered why with because. Like, why do you play sports? Why does he go to school? Why do they work? Why do you study English? Etc, etc. Siempre respondo con because. Si no tengo una explicación así como que, no sé, alguien me preguntó, mira, ¿y por qué, por qué vendiste el carro? ¿Por qué le cambiaste color al carro? Right. En vez de, no sé, o sea, por no decirle por qué sí, o sea, por no decirle, no sé, otra cosa, le, le, le quiero decir por qué sí, right. Por no decir algo más. Le puedo decir just because. Just because. Cuando respondemos just because es como decir en español, no, porque sí, right. Porque sí, o sea, no hay ninguna razón de peso para lo que hicimos, solo porque sí. Just because. Right, so, también podemos dejarlo hasta ahí. Y si usted quiere dar una razón, ahí sí dice, because, eh, why do you study English? Because, because it's very important. Because I think it might get me a better job position. Because it's important for the future, etc., etc. So there you go. Now, let me see. Something else here that is worth mentioning. No. No, that's it. Okay. So, ahora que ya sabemos un poquito más de las WH questions, de las WH words, Vamos a tomar asistencia. No, vamos a hacer algo más, pero vamos a tomar la asistencia primero. So, here we go. Second round for attendance. Let's see. So, comenzamos con... Let's see. All right. Alison Gabriela Ramos. Present. All right, there you go. Hoy se le escuchamos. Nice, Alison. Thank you. Let's see. Alba Suleima Garcia. Alba Suleima. ¿Dónde está? All right, so we continue with Ana Beatriz Pineda. Present. Thank you very much. Eh, Ana Beatriz, next, Claudia Verónica Juárez. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Claudia. Y next person, Gabriela Idania Díaz. Not there, right? Present. Yes, okay, nice, very good. Thank you, Gabby. Eh, next person, Glenda Maricela Cuellar. Present teacher. Thanks a lot, Glenda. Next person, Iris Beatriz Cornejo. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Iris. Y next person, Carla Raquel Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Carlita. Next, Carla Yesenia Lanza. Present. 
Thank you, y Carlita Lanza. We continue with Lucy Natalie Juarez. Present. Thanks a lot, Lucy. Good. Next person, Marilyn del Carmen Solis. Present. Thank you very much, Marilyn. Nice. Y next person, Marta Luz Orellana. Bueno, Martita creo que solo está conectada el día de hoy. Creo que tenía problemas con el audio. So we continue with Mauricio Emilio Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Mauricio. Y next person, Mayra Lisbeth Avilés. Present. Thanks a lot, Mayra. Good. Next person, Reinaldo Chávez Guerra. Present. Thank you very much, Reinaldo. We continue with Rosa Vilma Landa Verde. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Rosa Vilma. Nice. Next, Sonia Evelyn Iraeta. Sonia Evelyn. All right. Thank you, Evelyn. Nice. Y next person, Teresa Guadalupe Bonilla. Present. Thanks a lot, Teresa. Y next, Jessica Melissa Oya. Present teacher. Thank you, Jesse. Nice. Y next person, Julissa Raquel Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you, Julie. Nice. And then we have Maria Magdalena Ronquillo. Present. Thank you, Mary. And last but not least, Vilma Consuelo Guzman. Present. Thanks a lot, Consuelo. Good. All right. Now, what are we going to do? ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahora? I have a little practice for you in which we're going to use WH questions. Pero, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Let me show you. Um, ta -da -dum, ta -da -dum, ta -da -dum. Uh, we wait. WH questions. Donde está? Que no lo encuentro. Ahí está. Okay, le voy a mandar acá al, al chat de Zoom y al chat de WhatsApp. Una, eh, una pequeña lectura, un pequeño párrafo. Let me show you about a person's, mm, let's say, daily routine. So let's see. Aquí está. So let me show it to you. I'm going to share my screen. Primero se la voy a mostrar acá. So it says, a Tom's busy day. Yeah, here we have a routine that is, well, here we have Tom's routine. So what are we going to do with this? We are going to try to create as, well, we're going to try to create a certain amount of WH questions using the information here. Vamos a tomar, bueno, primero lo vamos a leer y... Then we're going to work in groups and we're going to try to create questions based on this information. So, se las leo primero. And then you tell me if you find new words so that I can help you before I let you go to work in groups. So, here we go. It says, Tom is a student at the University of London. He studies history there. He's the first year student. But Tom is a bad student. Every day he is very, very busy. His alarm clock rings at seven o'clock, but he usually turns over and goes to sleep because he's tired. Sometimes he throws the alarm clock across the room. So he wakes up late at about 8.30 o'clock. And he runs to the bathroom to wash and brush his teeth. He doesn't have time to have a shower. He doesn't have time to eat 
and he has to drink his tea in a hurry. He takes, he takes his bag and runs to the bus stop to catch his bus. He gets to university only at 9.30. Every morning, Tom is late to the first lesson. Tom comes home at about 16 o'clock and he has dinner. After dinner, he sometimes watches TV, plays the guitar, but he usually goes out with friends. He, all right, Tom never does his homework. He comes late at two or three o'clock at night. And he goes to bed because he's always very tired at this time. And tomorrow he has another busy day. Qué muchachito, ¿verdad? All right, anyway. So, any new words? Palabras nuevas que hayamos encontrado acá. Una idea que tengamos dudas qué significaba. No, we cool. Uh -huh. No, pretty simple. Okay. If it's clear, then I'm going to send you, le voy a mandar la imagen que está acá al chat. So let me see. So that you can start, well, so that you can work with this. So, uy, ¿dónde está? Wait. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uy, wait. Give me a second, because it seems it's not here. Mm. No. Wait. Mm. No puede ser. Aquí está. WH. Aquí está. I see. So, there you go. Y se las mandé al chat de Zoom y se las voy a mandar también al chat de, de WhatsApp. So let's see. Ok. Ahorita se las mando. Nice. Ok, so what are we going to do? In the meanwhile, oh, sorry, Albasta, ahorita estoy viendo su mensaje. So, sorry, sorry, sorry. Y creo que ya entró. All right. So let's see. In the meanwhile, while I'm sending this to the WhatsApp group, I'm going to create groups where you're going to work. Now, let's see. We're going to work in groups of four people. ¿Qué van a hacer? Las preguntas que ustedes van a sacar, van a sacar de acá, de este párrafo, van a ser, digamos, let me see, ocho preguntas. Ocho preguntas utilizando y la, cualquiera de las WH words que acabamos de estudiar. So, me van a hacer un documento en Word y me lo van a mandar a mi correo. So, y me lo van a mandar al correo, no en PDF, en Word, para que yo les pueda sacar eh, correcciones. O me lo pueden mandar en un correo eh, electrónico normal. So, up to you. Aunque okay, yo preferiría mejor un documento de Word. Me le van a poner los nombres eh, de los integrantes o de las integrantes del grupo. Y pretty much that's it, right? No necesitan adjuntar la imagen, solo las ocho preguntas con respuesta que ustedes van a sacar. ¿Cómo sé si mi pregunta está bien hecha? La podré contestar con la información que tengo acá en la lectura, right? Si no me pega la pregunta con la respuesta, so then probably it's not okay, right? So there you go. Ya les mandé la imagen también al grupo de WhatsApp so that you can have it. Alrighty then. So, 
los grupos quedarían Group number one y Martita, Sonia, Vilma Consuelo y Vilma de Romero. So you're working together. Group number two, Alison, Ana Beatriz, Mary and Marilyn. Group number two. Group number three, Gaby, Carlita Raquel, Lucy and Mayra. Group number three. Group number four, I have only three people. Claudia, Veronica, Carlita Lanza, and Teresa. Group number five, I have Alba, Glenda, Mayra, and Julie. Group number five. And Teacher, me volvió a mencionar. Eh, Mayra, ah, está repetida, creo, let me see. En el tres. En el tres, ok. So, no, entonces se queda en el tres, Mayra... Yes, se queda entonces en el grupo 3, no hay problema. So, en el grupo 5, entonces solo Alba, Glenda y Julissa. So, group number 6, Iris y Mauricio, Reinaldo y Jessica. All right, so you are in group number 6. Ok, so, recuerden, me lo van a enviar a mi correo a rollandstone06 a gmail.com. Y that pretty much it. Un documento de Word con las ocho preguntitas y sus respuestas. No olviden incluir sus nombres. Ok. So, teacher. Ajá. Teacher. Me, podría podría este, repetir el grupo uno, por favor. Grupo uno, Vilma. Es Martita. Evelyn. Eh, Vilma Consuelo. Y usted, Vilma de Rumi. Vaya. Vaya. Okay. Gracias. Ok. Excelente. Ok, then. les habilito también que puedan compartir pantalla por cualquier cosa. Y ahorita abro los grupos para que puedan empezar a trabajar. So, I'll give you 10 minutes, right? In case you need some help, just let me know. And you can start working now. So you can join the groups. Si tienen problemas para unirse a los grupos, me avisan.
All right, welcome. Let's wait for the rest. Ya 30 segundos, no menos, 20 segundos y se unen todos. So let's see. All right, all right. And here comes everybody. Okay, okay, okay. Estamos todos. Ajá, uh -huh, Julie. No. Eh, ¿A qué hora se le puede enviar? Porque todas mis compañeras estamos trabajando desde teléfono y se nos hace más difícil. Oh, mm, quiero ver. Estamos, estamos sacando aparte para luego mandarse. Para unirlo, para unir el, el, el trabajo. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Este, como la. O sea, lo estamos, lo hemos sacado aparte en un cuaderno para luego escribírselas y mandárselas al correo, pero uh -huh. no sé hasta qué hora pueden. Hasta las 9.50. No, mentira. <risa> no, just kidding. Tienen un rato, un rato después de la clase todavía. So, that's fine. So, don't worry. Ok. Yes. Nice. So, bueno, ya estuve revisando algunas de las que me han Ocho mandado. preguntas, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes. Yes, Julie. Ocho. Gracias. Nice. Cool. So, I was checking some of the ones that you sent. And there you go, right? So they're good. Just remember things that you need to consider. Acuérdense. Whenever we are asking questions or WH questions, let me see. We need something. Well, WH questions. Da -da -da. So we got to keep in mind a couple of things. First, if. I'm using action verbs. I need to use do and does, right? No puedo ocupar o no puedo crear una pregunta que incluya un verbo de acción si no tengo do o does. Que sea una, bueno, hay algunas excepciones, pero no vamos a hablar de eso todavía. Now. Si yo quiero decir, por, eh, por ejemplo, where he study o where he studies, right? Where he studies, mm -mm. ¿dónde él estudia? ¿Y por qué está malo, teacher? Si ahí está, ¿dónde él estudia? ¿Dónde estudia? Right? No, that's not the right structure we will follow for a question. If I'm using a verb, studies, that means that I'm using an action verb. I need an auxiliary. So, where does he study? Where does he study? Donde, donde estudia él? Right? Where does he study? So, no la puedo dejar así. Si no, necesito darle forma a la pregunta, darle forma de pregunta. Auxiliar does and the verb in the base form. And that's it. Now, hmm, if I want to use the verb to be, if I want to use the verb to be, that is, is, are, Um, then I don't need auxiliaries. For example, what is his name? What is his name? His name's Tom, right? His name's Tom. So I don't need any auxiliaries. So these are the two things that you need to consider whenever you are asking or creating questions. Estas son las dos reglas principales a la hora de hacer preguntas. Verbo de acción, auxiliares. Verb to be, 
no auxiliares, right? That's pretty much it. Dudas, preguntas con respecto a este tema. Or we could. Algo que han dudado, que han tenido así como duda a la hora de querer hacer las preguntas. No. Sí, sí, sí. yo tengo Ajá. una pregunta. Tell me. Eh, cuando me refiero que hago una pregunta, por ejemplo, ¿qué es tu viatón? ¿Es necesario Ajá. que lleve siempre un auxiliar tú o dos? Mm. ¿Qué tipo de verbo está utilizando? ¿De acción? Vaya, yo la había o el verbo de esta manera. What is Tom studying? Mm. Mm. Ahí me está diciendo que está estudia Tom. Estudia o estudia. Ah. <ríe> 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 vale, ahí se lo vamos a escribir aquí. What does sta, studying? Tom, si yo, si yo hago esto, no, creo que no era así, no. ¿Me la puede repetir? Yeah. Ajá. Sería, what it, Ajá. Tom, Ajá. y al final lleva studying. Con ING, ok. So, ah. what, is Tom, what is Tom studying? Uh -huh. he, in this case, I could accept it. Y si le pone el ING, sí. La tomo como correcta. ¿Qué está estudiando Tom? What is Tom studying? Pero nos salimos del simple present. So, nos metemos al present continuous. El present continuous es el verb to be más el verbo ING. Pero está bien. ¿vale? Gramaticalmente está correcto. El problema estaría si yo lo dejo así. What is Tom study? Ahí sí me da problema. Pero si le pongo el ING, that's fine. Un ING. Very good. En la respuesta es de tener cuidado. What is Tom study? ¿Qué respondería? He eats up at ah. a no. 30 o'clock. Aquí no, estamos... no, no, sí. no, tengo otro. <risa> Sería, he, he study, study. Ajá. He is studying. Ajá. History. 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 So, he is studying history. So, if this is the case, yes, no problem. But en, la pre, en la respuesta, y lo que hago al final es también utilizar el present continuous. Pregunté en present continuous, respondo usa, usando el mismo tiempo. He is studying history. So, yes, se puede. Nice. No, cool. Pero vaya, lo, mi pregunta en realidad era que si es necesario <laughs> que siempre ah. lleve el auxiliar. Porque en este, si ustedes me fijan en la pregunta, yo no le puse Guado Tom Ajá. Studying. O... ¿Por qué no se lo puso? No sé. <risa> <risa> Vaya, aquí no se lo puede poner porque está utilizando el verb to be. A pesar de que esto es el presente oh, continuo. Sí. Ajá, Ajá, y... Estoy ocupando is, entonces no puedo utilizar ni do ni das, ni fu ni fa. Ok. Y si no lleva ninguno de los dos, no puede ser pregunta también. Si no puede llevar el verbo to be o siempre tiene que llevar uno de los dos, ¿verdad? Yes, most likely. Si es una pregunta completa, sí. Podría, bueno, necesita llevar cualquiera de los dos, o ya sea el verbo to be o un verbo de acción con do y con das. Ok, gracias. Excellent. Good. Teacher. Ajá, tell me. Y si la pregunta fuera, what does Tom study? Is correct o incorrect? What does Tom study? It's correct too. Solo que esa pregunta okay. la haríamos en el simple present. What does Tom 
study. Simple present, right? Sin study. ponerle ajá, el ING. Ahí sí. ¿Qué es lo que estudia Tom? Good. Nice. Thank you. All right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. No se olviden, eh, bueno, ya recibí eh, varios acá. Tengo el de Meli, tengo el de Mary, tengo el de Natalie Ramírez y Claudia Verónica. So nice. So no olviden enviarlos, eh, los que no lo han enviado. Y that's it. Yo les voy a mandar por ahí unas, las correcciones, lo voy a revisar. Y les mando correcciones mañana. All right. So there you go. Ok, so, well, pasamos a asistencia y quiero ver, ahora le correspondería quedarse a, ah, wait. Tararán, tararán. Uh, Emilio, Mauricio Emilio, ¿se puede quedar el día de hoy? Sí, está bien. Sí, nice. Ok, perfecto. Ok, tomamos asistencia entonces y vamos con Alison Gabriela Ramos. Present. Thank you very much, Alison. Next, Alba Suleima García. Present, teacher. Thank you, Alba. Y next, Ana Beatriz Pineda. Present, teacher. Thank you, y Ana Beatriz. Next, Claudia Verónica Juárez. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Claudia. Next, Gabriela y Dania Díaz. Gabriela. Bueno, por ahí está conectada, creo yo. Nice. So we continue with Glenda Maricela Cuella. Present Thank you very much, Glenda. Next, Iris Beatriz Cornejo. Present teacher. Thank you, Iris. Next, teacher. Carla. Ajá. Uh -huh. Creo que dijo mi nombre. Lo que pasa es que no pude activar rápido el micrófono. Ah, ok. Nice. Thank you, Gary. Sí. Thank you. Ok. Bueno. Nice, nice. So let's see. Eh, Iris Beatriz Cornejo. Present teacher, ya lo había dicho. Ah, ok, I'm sorry. Yes. La, ahorita ya estamos en las últimas. I'm sorry. So let's see. Carla Raquel Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlita. Next, Carla Yesenia Lanza. Present. Thank you, y Carlita Lanza. Next, Lucy Natalie Juárez. Present. Thank you, Lucy. Y next, Marilyn del Carmen Solís. Present. All right. Thank you very much, Marilyn. Y next, Marta Luz Orellana. Martita. Oh, I guess she's having problems with, the, uh, with her audio. So we continue with Mauricio Emilio Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Mauricio. Y next, Mayra Lisbeth Avilés. Present. Thank you very much, Mayra. Next person, Reinaldo Chávez Guerra. Present. Thank you very much, Reinaldo. Y next, Rosa Vilma Landa Verde. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, y Rosa Vilma. Y we continue with Sonia Evelyn Iraeta. Thank you, Evelyn. Next, Teresa Guadalupe Bonilla. Present. Thank you, Teresa. Next, Jessica Melissa Oya. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jesse. Y next person, Julissa Raquel Cruz. Present, teacher. All right. Thank you very much, Julie. So, let me see. Next person, Maria Magdalena Ronquillo. Present. Thank you, Mary. And last but not least, Vilma Consuelo Guzmán. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Consuelo. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, 
Thank you very much for joining today's lesson. I'm gonna send you some material about WH questions to the WhatsApp group so that you can practice, so that you can study. So that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for being here today and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, have a good night. Thank you. Bye. 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 My pleasure. Bye. 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 Sweet dreams. Bye. Bye. Teacher. Bye. Bye. Ok, Mauricio, Mauricio, ya nos robaron un par de minutitos, Mauricio, pero ahí vamos. Le prometo, no lo voy a entretener mucho. Ok, solo de menos un minutito más por acá, de más así. Ok. All right. Ahí está. Vaya, Mauricio. ¿Y qué tal? ¿Cómo has sentido las clases, Mauricio? ¿Cómo vamos hasta ahorita? Sí, pues muy bien. Eh, me agradan y pues son interactivas. Y pues sí, creo que sí. Pues me ha gustado porque interactuamos, compartimos eh, eh, grupos. Eh, es algo que lo, lo vamos haciendo entre todos. No algo que solo para, para uno uh -huh. sí se ve a la vez divertida y, y pues ya qué bueno qué bueno me alegra mucho escuchar que bueno que, que, que le gusta la clase que, que la siente dinámica que, que no se aburre <ríe> así que qué bueno ahora bien eh, alguna bueno esto este tiempecito también que, 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 que tenemos lo aprovechamos para resolver ciertas dudas no sé si ha habido algún tema que se le ha hecho un poquito más difícil que otro. Eh, no sé si, si ha tenido alguna dificultad con algún tema específico, Mauricio. Eh, sí, va. tengo problemas porque como casi el inglés cae, pues como no lo ocupamos, no es de que uno se la va a de, de, de estudiarlo, ¿verdad? O sea, lo Ajá. deja como en el olvido, como una opción que... que, que de todas maneras, eso no lo necesita. Entonces, uh -huh. sí, se me detendrá un poco en, en los temas, pero eh, con un ejemplo que veo, pues ya ahí. Y luego la, las clases, las tareas, no las encontré difícil porque sí tiene opción. Ahí aquí uh -huh. no puedo responder una, pues me da la oportunidad de que me rebusque hasta que la soluciono. Entonces, la, eh, eso es una de las cosas que me gustan porque igual uh -huh. para lo que voy haciendo la voy anotando. Ah, digo, esta está correcta, pues entonces hay que anotarlo porque... Hay veces que un pequeño error, no me la agarra el, la, la, la página, yo digo, Ajá. pues ahora sí. <risa> Creo que... Hola. Se le cortó, creo, Emilio. Me escucha. Emilio, Emilio. Hola, hola. Creo que se le cortó. Vamos a ver. Ok, esperamos un ratito entonces, para ver si se conecta, si se puede volver a conectar.